We're now joined by Sergeant Ray Hammond of the Lake Orion uh, Police Department. Uh, did you have fun at the parade this year? We had a blast at the parade <laughs> this year. It was uh, awesome. a really good turn. I think it seemed like it was uh, record attendance this yeah, year. Yeah, it, it uh, really not, felt Not like only it. for the floats, but for uh, for everybody watching the parade as well. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I was told that the parade entries were around 70 this year, which wow. is probably wow. more than ever before. And, uh, you know, when I came out to this community, I came out late in 93, and 94 was the last daytime parade that okay. they had. Uh, the next year in 1995 is when they went with the nighttime parade and that like brought everybody out and they've been okay. doing it ever since. So we're getting really close to 30 years of the wow. nighttime wow. lighted parade. So. And I think, yeah. isn't it the, the second largest in the country? Something like that. Yeah. yeah. It, I've it, heard it, the yeah. largest in Michigan, the largest yeah. lighted parade in Michigan. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. so it's, it's, it's awesome. It's yeah. I mean, who doesn't want to come out at night and see <laughs> sure. lights? And I mean, it's just such a fun environment. So. Yeah. Yeah. And then Santa. <laughs> Uh, does the meet and greet after the parade, and yep. that was really there awesome. was, there was yeah, a long the, line. There was a long line. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so that's yeah. awesome. Uh, Ray, thanks for coming out. Uh, one pleasure. of the reasons we invited you out today is uh, there's an event coming up that uh, is a really special event. Uh, I cover it every year, and it's hard not to get emotional when I'm there with my camera shooting video, but uh, every year the Lake Orion Police Department invites a couple dozen uh, children to come out to Target uh, to do some holiday shopping for themselves. They call it uh, Shop of the Hero. Uh, what can you tell us about this amazing program? Well, this is our 15th year of wow. Shop of the Hero. It started back in 2008. Uh, the Lake Orion Police Association, which is uh, which is members of the of the department, um, got together and they decided they wanted to help out some of the uh, local youth. And it started with uh, just kind of a handful of kids. At one point, we had 150 children wow. in one year. Um, so we've scaled it back. I think uh, the events in 2020 kind of mm -hmm. helped scale that back. All right. Uh, and we even had it that year as well. It was very rough, but we made it happen. Um, so it's been a great program and something I'm very proud to be a part of. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like I said, you know, I shoot video every year and I, I witness some pretty awesome moments. And one year, uh, you know, they tell these kids, they get a gift card, right? Like a hundred dollar <laughs> gift card. And they say, you can go shopping for yourself. And I remember I was shooting video and a police officer was leading a kid down the toy aisles. And the, the kid and the little boy insisted on going into like the doll aisle, the Barbie aisle. And the police officer kept saying, uh, this is the Barbie aisle. And the boy goes, I know. And he said, okay. And he's shopping. He's looking at everything. And he goes, are you sure you're in the right aisle? And he goes, I'm shopping for my sister. Yes. And yes. that just got me emotional because these kids are told, this money is for you. You shop for yourself. Yeah. But you see kids shopping for their siblings, their parents. Uh, they're, they're being raised Right, you know. So, what have you witnessed of being part of this program? Uh, well, it, again, it, it is it's great to see that the children um, not only shop for themselves, but they're thinking outside the box, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. and they're shopping for parents or siblings, grandparents, caretakers. Uh, but it's the amount of heroes that we actually have that join us that sometimes outweigh the amount of kids. Yeah. And it's it's that uh, the community. Uh, shows up um, in droves. The, the law enforcement, uh, fire departments, uh, federal agencies, military show up in droves because they too want to, you know, the, the children are our heroes. Let's not lie. Yeah. Oh. The children are our heroes because they're 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 kids, they're yeah. innocent yeah. hearts. Yeah. Um, so that's something that's amazing to me as well is just the amount of people that come together and they want to uh, e either uh, physically help or uh, financially help the program. Yeah. And, you know, another thing that is accomplished by this event is, you know, you want to form a positive bond with the kids. Yes. You know, a lot of kids, you know, they see the police car and yeah. they panic, they freak out. <laughs> it's the popo. -po. <laughs> and uh, this event puts the police officers in a positive light. Talk about the benefit of that. Well, it is. It's always a positive notion to get involved with, with uh, young children in the community and, and to let them know that we're not just there um, to to arrest or write tickets <laughs> or or uh, you know shake our fingers at them, um, but we're there to to help them just in general and be their friends, um, participate in, in what they do. Uh, we, we we enjoy going to the school and 
maybe having a basketball game or uh, you know doing our, our our kids and cops nights and really getting involved in playing with the kids. Yeah, and, and building uh, those relationships because that's what it's all about, right? Anybody can look at someone or look at a uniform and, you know, but when you start to build those relationships and the bonds form, that's when, you know, we're all human, right? And when yeah. we become it's so human important. to each other. So important, yes. Yeah, yeah you, I love seeing videos of like, you see kids playing basketball outside and a police car rolls up and they go, oh, what do we do now? <laughs> and the officers get out and play basketball with yeah. them. Like yeah. you, you want to have that positive And they don't impact. let the kids win. They're competitive. Bring it, right? Bring it. Now, of course, the Shop of the Hero program is, is made possible thanks to a generous community. Yes. Uh, I know the former Chief Jerry Narsh told me that there was one individual, and I don't know his name off the top of my head, but he kind of was instrumental in making a big donation every year. But talk about how this program relies on donations. I wish I knew his name as well because, <laughs> <laughs> unfortunately, <laughs> it, the funding has dropped a little bit uh, in the past couple of years. Mm -hmm. um, but the, the community does help, and we, we reach out to them um, by, via social media and just word of mouth to let them know uh, the need for, for funding uh, for the program. Um, this year, we're working with the um, Orient Parade Group. Um, they're helping us with our online funding. Um, that's something that is really big now. People just want to be able to go online and donate. And of course, we have continued to accept cash and check donations as well. Um, but the funding is has gotten a little lighter in the years, and our groups have gotten a little smaller. Okay, so we have we have it up here. How if you uh, want to uh, if you want to donate, you can right drop off cash or check at the the uh, the police station at yeah, the village yeah. hall or online as well. So yeah. they're collecting donations, right? So anything we can do. I right. need to partner you up with uh, the VFW. When I was at the Holly Jolly Folly on Friday, uh, James Hubbard, who's the the the. I think the president of the VFW, uh, he approached me and said, uh, how can we get involved with this program? We want to help, uh, you know, kids get Christmas. So yeah. I need to put you in touch, touch with James Hubbard because be they, they want to cut a check to help the program too. Mm -hmm. And doesn't the uh, the car show that we do back in July normally, doesn't that kind of help out a little bit? Yes. Yeah, so uh, not only has the um, Orient Parade Group helped with our funding, um, but Galling GMC, um, they helped to sponsor our, uh, our, our Lake Orient Police Association car show every August. Uh, and those, the proceeds from that car show go into our uh, into our Shop of the Hero Fund. Yeah, and, and the Pancake Breakfast. And the Pancake Because I know breakfast. my family, oh, right. we, we attend that every year. That Ho hosted is by Johnny yes. Blacks from yep. the Lake House. Yep. Um, and they, they do a wonderful job assisting. You know, we had yeah. two car shows this year. One was rain out. Yeah, right. The, the car show was, but we still had the but pancakes. But we still had the pancakes, <laughs> right. yes. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yes. in both times, we had a, it was just a great time. Yeah. 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 Now, the day of Shop of the Hero, talk about that. So, a kid gets partnered up with a police officer. Or a, a, a with, with a hero. Mm -hmm. um, so, we'll have, uh, again, the police and fire and, and uh, uh, not just Lake Orion Police, but we also have Oakland County Sheriff's mm -hmm. uh, deputies helping us out. Um, FBI, DEA, uh, federal personnel, military personnel mm -hmm. as well. So the kids really can kind of pick and choose okay. who their hero is. Yeah. Um, it doesn't have to be a certain you know, officer. Or it can be a certain officer if they mm -hmm. wish. Uh, and then they're given uh, a, a card, a gift card The basically. officer or the, the hero is given a, a gift card uh, and their calculator on their phone and they go out into the toy aisles or uh, the Barbie aisles, wherever they choose yeah. to uh, to do a shopping, and the officer or the hero, I'm sorry, there, is calculating to make sure we just stay under that, you know, at or around that amount. Yeah. Um, and Target's kind enough to allow us to do this in their in their stores, um, and then usually give us a little discount on top <laughs> as we're at the register checking out. So. Now, something that I've witnessed, I've never seen a hero make a child put something back because they went <laughs> over the limit. No. I've seen officers pull out their wallet Guilty. if things Guilty go a little yeah. over the limit, and that's yeah. pretty special, too. So. Yeah, we're, we're not going to turn anybody away for, for a few bucks. Um, it, it's just, they're, they're not only there to, to see that the kids are having a good time, but they're there to see that the, the holidays are are joyful for everybody. Yeah. yeah. Now another aspect of this that's tied in a little bit is uh, the police department does uh, kids and cops program yes, yes. at Blant Sims Elementary School. Blant Sims is the only elementary school 
that uh, is in downtown Lake Orion. And uh, the old building is gone, so this is gonna be the first time that you're going into the new building. Talk about what kids experience during Kids and Cops. We're still working out the particulars with the new building, but during our, uh, our Kids and Cops, um, we pretty much give kids the run of the school where they're just there to make sure that um, you know everybody's having a good time. We set up ping pong tables and play uh, floor hockey in the cafeteria, basketball in the gym, and um, hula hoop in the gym, and yep. uh, arts and crafts in the uh, in the library in the media center. Um, so it's really a good time. It's, a, it's usually a Friday night where parents can drop the kids off for a couple hours, maybe get some free time to themselves, yeah. take a breather, <laughs> and uh, and then pick the kids up in a couple hours. <laughs> That's when we need our breather yeah. by, that, <laughs> by that point, so yeah. Yeah, I don't think the, the thugs and the hoodlums cause you as much problem as the kids at uh, Blythe <laughs> No, no, but it is. It's a really good time, Joe, and we, we just, uh, we enjoy getting in there and playing with the kids. It's something to take, yeah. a, take away from the, the winter blah, right? Yeah, right, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, on a Friday night to, to bring up spirits. Now the money that's raised like at the car show and through donations, uh, from what I've been told, the police department has purchased things like ping pong tables yes. and leave them permanently at the school. A lot of those, uh, a lot of, yeah, a lot of those things um, just get left at the school. They'll give us a, a corner somewhere to stuff these things mm -hmm. until our next event. Um, I th I think we forgot a few things at the old Blanche Sims, <laughs> so yeah. I think we need to go back and reevaluate <laughs> what we need to buy this year. Um, you know, and thing, obviously things get worn out when you have kids sure. just playing with them all the time. Yeah. So uh, it's time to update our supplies. And I have this image in my head of the former Chief Harold Rossman who retired recently. I remember seeing him come through the front door of the stack of pizzas that was almost as <laughs> tall as him. Yes, so yes. that's part of it too, is the pizza party. Yes, yeah. So um, we, we partnered with uh, Sick Pizza last year in Oxford and they uh, they helped provide the pizzas and the kids love it. So. I thought you were going to refer to um, Chief Rossman's Elmo costume last oh. year. <laughs> oh, that's right. We yeah. don't want to give away any secrets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's awesome that you guys do that. And uh, so it's a week from Wednesday at mm -hmm. Target. Yep. Um, if more donations come in, that means more shopping for kids is what I'm told. So there's still time to donate, right? There's still time to donate and there's still time to register. Mm -hmm. um, so if uh, we, we get our... We get our children from the uh, suggestions of the faculty at the schools. Yeah. Um, so if you know anybody knows of a family that really just could use an extra helping hand this winter, um, welcome to reach out to us at the police department. That's awesome. Yeah. You guys are doing great things in the community and uh, yes. just keep up the great work. I know, I live in the village and I'm very thankful that I that I do for the Lake Warren <laughs> Police Department, so. Yeah. That's right, that's One right. One of the best assets of the village, so. I agree, Thank you. Yeah. I agree. And this Wednesday, there's a Shop of the Hero event going on at Meyer in Oxford, I believe. Mm -hmm. uh, the Oxford Police Department teams up with uh, uh, the sheriff's department yep. and uh, other like f uh, fire department and stuff like that. So, so at Meyer in Oxford, there's a Shop of the Hero event going on this Wednesday at six o'clock. The following Wednesday is the Lake Orion event at Target on Brown Road, correct? In yes. Auburn Hills. So, uh, like I said, there's still time to register or donate. So, all right, thanks for Very joining good. us. Always good. good seeing you. Thank you. Right. We'll see you out and about much. in the community.